I just finished the standing start workout that I just probably just showed you a clip of. And one of the common misconceptions about standing starts, especially when they see someone like myself leaning far forward like I do, and I've covered why I do that in my standing start videos in the past, the, the common misconception is one of two things, that I'm going to flip over or I'm going to lose traction on the rear wheel, which neither of those things has ever really happened. I definitely never flipped over. Traction, I don't think so either. And this is why. And I'll explain this as quickly as possible. And here, the, there's, there's two caveats to this. And let's car pass. Is that in order to execute a, a far leaning forward standing start, you need to have a very strong upper body and more importantly, a st strong core. And this is what. So with your whatever leg forward, like this one, where the strong upper body and the strong core comes into play is as you're driving this foot down to initiate your movement out of the gate or hold, what you're doing is you're pushing down, but you're also pushing up against that leg and creating this body tension through not only your upper body and your shoulders, but it's mainly in your core because what this, what's happening is you're creating a fulcrum through your hips. And what's happening is you're leaning forward. It's like a lever, very much like a lever. Your hips are at this point, your upper body's here and your legs are here. And the reason why your rear wheel doesn't slip is if you have a strong enough upper body to counter the forces of your leg driving down, you're actually pushing that rear wheel down against the ground. And it's that tension that allows you to maintain traction. And also, it's that tension that keeps you from falling over. If you had no upper body and no coordination, I'm just, it is entirely possible if you were so strong and just completely flopped over, you could flip over. There's a BMX move from the late 80s that uh, Ron Wilkerson uh, invented when you basically r roll over on the, on the front of the bike and, and you're basically just flopping over. That's not going to happen as long as you have a decent upper body and core. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of any caveats to that, and, and there is none, because if you're doing a standing start with that much power, chances are you spend a little bit of time in the gym. And that said, um, one of the things people used to comment about my videos, my workout videos, was, what, Will, why are you doing so much upper body work and not, uh, not, only, not just doing squats and deadlifts? Well, part of the end core work. What, Will, why do you do so much core work, core work and upper body work? It's like, well, in this case, it's really helped my standing start because it's allowed me to create this very strong lever in order to brace whatever meager quads I have and, and leg strength in order to get me you know, one of the fastest standing laps in master cycling. So short story long, that is why you don't fall over or lose traction when you lean far forward in a standing start. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.